my name is Polly Jean Harrison and we are here at Money 2020. Why don't you introduce yourself for us, please? Hi, Polly. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Max. Um, I'm the CEO of Coinspade, one of the founding team. Uh, we are doing crypto payments and enjoying the times here at uh, Money 2020. Amazing stuff. So, Max, you entered the crypto world back in 2013. So how have you seen the industry evolve over the past decade? Yeah, it was uh, quite a ride, really. Um, when I started in 2013, I was one of the first people in Ukraine who sort of like started spreading the word, you know, like a gospel of cryptocurrency. Uh, honestly, I saw many people who never heard the word Bitcoin before, right? So it was that times when it was really wild, wild west. Um, and pretty much over the years, it was very gradual, you know, and slow growth. I remember in the beginning, we were like, okay, what are the use cases for crypto? Then people started to get new use cases. Then investors were slowly joining and funding those uh, bold ideas that being developed. Then we saw that the institutionals started to jump in, creating some funds or maybe some funds who usually invest in some other asset classes started invent investing in crypto. And then much later, I would say 2016, 17, regulators started to join, right? And understand that, okay, this is the industry. This is an asset class. And we have to somehow explain what's the stance of uh, cryptocurrencies and uh, how do we regulate those businesses and so on. So it's uh, quite a development pretty much all the time. Every year, something new happens. Absolutely. And what do you think the biggest barriers are to widespread crypto adoption? Uh, if narrow it down, I would say this is uh, mostly education and um, ignorance, really. Right. So we know that in the bigger companies, uh, very often uh, the decision makers um, are sort of in the later stage in their life where they sort of know exactly what works, what not, mm -hmm. right, what they like and what they don't like. And when something new appears, like AI, like blockchain and so on, you probably see it also in the other industries when they're like, ah, okay, it's something new, we don't really need it, right? And they try to postpone this innovation because in order to understand it deeper, you need to spend a lot of money, resources, risks, and so on. So um, not understanding and not willing to understand the advantages, that is what's stopping most of all. Yeah, absolutely. And what regulatory changes do you think are going to have the most significant impact on cryptocurrency? Uh, right now in Europe, it's happening exactly as we speak. So Mika, this is the markets in crypto assets. This is the new regulation which harmonizes uh, crypto businesses and crypto regulation all across European Union. UK is sort of also in the picture as it will be joining most of the regulations. Um, basically, it has to be impl being implemented from the middle of this year, so pretty much in one month. And uh, we believe that it mostly will be implemented by, by majority of countries, uh, European member states, uh, from the next year. Um, so this changes the landscape for everyone, for all crypto businesses, but also gives much more flexibility to any business in Europe to work with crypto because it's legal. It's explained how to do it, what to do it, how to report your tax and so on. So it's a very big thing and very big opportunity. Amazing. And of course, we've talked about crypto. So tell us a bit more about Coinspade. What is it about your company that makes you unique? Um, basically, we are the biggest in the world in this business model. So we managed to optimize a lot of the things, right? So comparing us with, uh, with competitors, I would say that they are still sort of on the younger stage of uh, organizational development. And it also um, sort of means that the product and operations around the product, they are somehow, um, sometimes they are not so smooth, right? And for online businesses, they need all the payments to be in time. They need all the payments to be quickly. They need everything, all the back offices, all reporting to be very transparent and ready from the start. They need 24 seven support in different languages and so on. So basically making this robust system, which works for the bigger scale clients, you need to have some, some size and uh, some scale, right? And we managed to achieve this scale with the clients that we have. And now we are able to provide them the service and product on the very, very high, on the very high level. And also our specialization of the comp as the company is on crypto payments. So we are not doing this as a hobby. We are not doing this as a side project as many other companies do. So we specialize. And of course, if you are a bigger online business and you need to solve this small piece in a really, really professional way, you usually would go to someone who is really professional in that. If you think about the doctors, if you have something that needs to be solved, you go to professional in that particular thing. Mm. 
Right, of course. And we're, we're halfway through 2024 now. How has the year gone for you so far? Is there any successes that you want to shout about? So yeah, we got uh, we managed to receive already 12 awards, right, from the different um, award makers, different conferences, and so on. So we're getting some recognition from financial space and from or from online e-commerce space in general. Um, I mean, we we had some amazing hires already in this year. Uh, and the guys who were hired in the uh, in the end of the last year started to bring a lot of uh, you know results and 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 fruits. Um, so this is extremely exciting. We are going through the regulation. I think it's going very fine. Um, adopting the new rules in Europe uh, in order to sort of rock the next year. Fantastic. And what are your future plans for Coins Paid? What's on the roadmap that you can tell us about? Um, basically, new assets new integrations with some centralized solutions as well so we aim to stay within the b2b and payment space of course we do exchanges as well but the focus stays with payments so mostly integrating more like an industry-wide centralized payment solutions like from exchanges and so on you can think about like paypal right you you can check out with one click so we support blockchains from any world in the world but we want to have more of the centralized checkout solutions. We are working on the offline solution to have the POSs in store, uh, which we believe is the next sort of development of uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency adoption in the world. Um, and then there's basically growing together with the market, growing together with adoption. We are entering US, uh, hoping to have some, uh, some development and some increase of the adoption in the California. Uh, so betting on the on the crypto adoption and creating new products to support that adoption. Amazing. And then just finally, how are you finding Money 2020? I know we're early days in the conference, but how is everything going so far? I mean, it's an amazing selection of people, right? You here, it's always a pleasure because everyone are professionals. They might be in completely different spaces. Some discussions might sound a bit irrelevant, right? Because they are not really applicable to your business. But again, learning from the innovators in financial space from all over Europe and even from outside of Europe are here discussing new opportunities, sharing their ideas, sharing their developments, sharing their challenges. And this is where you can, as an entrepreneur, you can always get you know, some ideas for the future. You understand where the wind blows in the industry. You get more references from different spaces, different industries, uh, which makes your decisions more correct, you know, more wider um, analyzed. And in the end of the day, all the friends you make here, all the partners, all the future colleagues that you can meet here is, um, uh, you cannot really estimate how valuable is, is this. Amazing, well, thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure to chat, Max. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you very much, Philip, you too.